You are going to pray this night for your destiny. You are going to call it by name. And declare that in this season, my destiny open. 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 Open up. He said, Lo, I come. Please pray. Please pray. Destiny, in the name of Jesus, be open. My assignment, my destiny, open up in the name of Jesus. No wasting time. No rambling around. Open up in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. Outside, are you praying? Make sure you are praying from the depth of your heart. Open up, open up, open up in the name of Jesus. Open up, open up. Open up in the name of Jesus. Open up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Please listen to me. You are going to pray. And you are going to cry to God. And say, Lord, every, every disarrangement of truth in my life that has been responsible for my stunted growth, I pray by the Spirit of God, rearrange my life. Rearrange my destiny. What I have believed wrongly, correct it, O oh God. I am open. I'm not a rebel. Let your emphasis be my emphasis. Pray. More than what a man of God said. Arrange my life sequentially. Arrange my destiny sequentially. Who am I to meet in this season? Who must enter my life in this season? Based on your arrangement. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Please don't think you are, you are wasting your time. You are praying seriously. Now, I say this with all humility. Listen. Please listen. Imagine if till now I was still trying to hear God concerning koinonia. Are you seeing now? Imagine there are people according to the blueprint of your assignment you are not supposed to be looking for money now if you are supposed to have it already because the next phase of your life is dependent on that supply there are people right now at according to god's blueprint the level of prophetic you should be operating in it is required for the kind of assignment but because you are still here god cannot move with you hear me Hear me. There are ladies, according to God's blueprint, you should be ready for marriage now. 
based on the sequence of your destiny. But it's right now you are getting serious with your life. Hear me. Hear me. There are some of you according to the sequence of destiny. It's you and your elder brother that should be standing as pillars. But the devil killed your brother from birth. That means you are carrying the burden of two people. You need your grace plus the grace that will come on you else. So when you pray one hour, God will say, add it to, because you were supposed to pray only an hour, because there's someone else holding it with you. But he's alive and he's drinking around. And God's agenda must move forward. So you must build stamina to be able to carry it. Listen, listen to me. Please listen. I'm speaking by the Spirit. Don't think I'm just talking anyhow. Listen to me. Please listen. There are families, according to the design of God, you are supposed to be three men. But the devil made sure no man come to that family. It was later on you showed up, sometimes as the last born. And now you have to stand in a position of three men as one man. There are families. It's supposed to be you and your father and your pastor. But now your father did not serve the Lord. Or your father has died. God will not change his purposes. His plans can change. But his purposes remain eternal. Listen, listen, there are families, according to God's design, you should never even try to say, okay, I'm looking for two or three jobs. Because according to that design, your father should have been responsible to help you with an inheritance. But now the devil hijacked that destiny. And the way you are right now, if you fail, there is no more hope for your family. Because everyone that came to help. The devil took them out of the way. You know it. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I will not fail you. And I will not fail destiny. Is someone praying? Lord, I will not fail you. I will not fail destiny. If it depends on me, then I will not fail. If it depends on me, if it depends on me to change the course of my family, if it depends on me, to enthrone Jesus over my family. If it depends on me, I will not fail. Someone pray. Pray with the picture of your loved ones in your mind. Pray with the picture of your children on your mind. Pray with the picture of your destiny on your mind. If it depends on me, I will not fail. It may take time, but I will not fail. Hallelujah. I wish you people knew that song. Atmosphere, shift now. Huh? You may not know it. I just, I just had that song in my spirit. I will not fail if it depends on me. I think about my life with all humility. And I think about the destinies. That would have gone down. Even if I were born again and I refused to answer the call. Listen. The next prayer point. We are praying. Listen. Spirit of the living God. If I am found anywhere. That my destiny does not require. Turn me around. Bring me back to the place of destiny. Lift your voice and pray. If I found myself. Anywhere. That my destiny does not require. Turn me around. Please pray, pray, pray. Align me. 
to destiny. Align me to destiny. Align me to destiny. Geographically. Align me to destiny. Relationally. Align me to destiny. Financially. Allow me to, align me to destiny. Spiritually. Align me to destiny, O oh God. Pray that prayer and watch your life change. Align me to destiny. Let me stop rambling around. Bring me to the place, the path of destiny. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. It was never my intention. Never my intention to be in Zaria. It would have been the last place for me to think of being at this time. But you see, there's something about destiny. There are people when the devil wants to waste their time, they will get American visa and travel and roam around America. Just because you are making some money does not mean you are in destiny. 